Oh, hey there. Fancy seeing you here. Bet you weren't expecting to be back behind the F-18 this soon. What's up, guys? And welcome back to some more Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, uh, you guys know, I mean, the Top Gun Maverick DLC in this game is incredible. It's some of the most fun I've ever had, and we 100% completed it. Now, uh, the cool thing is, is I've found a mod. Now, I'm new to the Microsoft Flight Sim modding and stuff. I I've just been doing some research, trying to figure out some cool videos we can do together. And I found this one here. I just want to give a shout out to the creator, Top Gun Carrier Recovery Pack. You guys can see it's got 4.92 out of five stars. And basically, we have six new challenges that we can do that are all kind of the same thing, where you've got to be on the ball, you've got to watch your speed and things like that. We've got like a nighttime New York City. We've got like a stormy Bora Bora. We've got San Francisco, Gibraltar, Florida Key. Sydney around the world we're going to be able to take on these challenges and you know kind of relive the Top Gun lifestyle so uh, here we go landing on a moving carrier in the Hudson River in New York City at night pitch black you've got stars up in the sky and stuff this this is going to be insane this is going to be so tough we, we no visuals relying on instruments which your boy doesn't know how to IFR so we're just going to hope for the best. Carrier landing challenge. Look at this, dude. This is sick. So yeah, this is a mod. There's not like official leaderboards for this or anything, but I think you still get graded on it. We're obviously going to try to do our best, but we have a legitimate carrier out here. And is that it right there? Is that our, that's our carrier. Okay. Um, let me, let me reset our view here. Now, the, the one thing you do have to do is in these, you have to extend your little landy stick so you guys can see. See this this guy right here it's kind of hard to see but you see how when i press this button he comes out so yeah that's that's a big part of it uh here we go all right we're gonna have to lose some speed lose some altitude we're good all right not not the best start but we're gonna be okay just remember our training here so we want to stay on the ball we want to stay we're coming in too hot i was gonna say we want to stay around 130 but i guess it wants us around 120. Okay, this this is dangerous, dude. Look at New York City. Let me just take a peek out of my right window right there. That is so sick. I've seen some of you guys asking for more flying at night. Well, here you go. So we've got our lights here. Dude, it looks like we're just flying into the black abyss here. Just into a black hole. There's nothing around us. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I actually feel pretty good about this right here. We're a little high. A little high. Gonna have to drop it down. Ooh, ooh, not too much though. Not too much. A little bit more speed. A little bit more speed. Ooh, I think we floated it too hard. Mill power? Oh my goodness! First attempt! How do we do? I feel like we kind of got off the glide slope a little bit, but that was actually pretty solid. We're gonna get a C there. So yeah, there's no official leaderboards, but it at least... We got wire two on speed and glide slope was not good. We could do better than that. Obviously, we were talking a lot leading up to it. So let's give this another shot. I also hadn't changed our, our radio. You can change your radio setting to be able to hear them when they're calling ball and stuff for you. All right, we got to we got to slow down and get lower here. Look at that off to our left. Statue of Liberty. So sick. All right. Here we go. Speed is correct. Glide slope is, is looking better. There it is. That's that's where we want to be. That's the sweet zone. Getting a little low. A little more speed. Come on, baby. Not too much speed, though. Here we go. Gonna have to pick up our... Dude, it's, it's honest. It's hard to keep the glide slope and everything in here. Because you don't have any visual references. It's just a bunch of lights off in the distance getting getting a little bit closer to you. I kind of don't like how the lights go off the edge of the carrier and down into the water. Makes me think I can land there a little bit. A little hot. Come a little left. little left. We're good. We're on the ball. On the ball. On the ball. A little more speed. Don't go into the back of the carrier. Let's try to hit that third line. Just fall out of the sky on it. Ooh, little bit sketch there at the end. I think our lead up was slightly better, but the ending was not, not quite as good. I think we probably caught the first line. We got another C there. Okay. Um, I don't know. We hit wire two again. 
on speed wasn't good. All right, you know what? I'm happy with that one. Honestly, it's just really tough because you can't see much. Next up is Bora Bora, baby. Carrier is right in front of you. The problem can be caused by rain and strong winds, which certainly won't make it easy for you to land. Visibility should be good, though. Okay. So, good visibility. It's daytime. We're going to be able to see the... Oh, dude, this is insane. This is still my favorite place I have ever been. If you guys ever get a chance, I, I promise you it is so, 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 so worth it. Bora Bora is, is seriously, if, if you're into, you know, blue water and just beautiful nature, it's, it's insane. Obviously a little bit different here. So it must be like monsoon season. Look at this thing just plowing through the, uh, the lagoon. And we're going to want to land. Oh my goodness. You can see the, look at the, look at the water coming off the cockpit. Dude, this is insane. All right, here we go. Let me make sure our landy stick is out. Landy stick is out. That's the official term for it. That is what we're calling it going forward. All right. So carriers kind of aimed a, a little bit left here. I'm thinking we probably want to go more right than anything. It looks like our speed has, has been increased a little bit to the ideal speed. Oop, maybe not. All right, about one, 120. 120 to 125. Here we go. Coming in a little high. Wants us lower. Maybe to avoid the uh, gale force winds that we're coming into. Dude, this... Look at look at the plane. This is me not touching anything going in a straight line. That's that's how the, the plane's like cockeyed to the right. Gonna try to turn in here. Ooh, might have turned a little bit early. We could probably do a longer, nicer bank turn next time. This is first attempt. We're gonna be fine. So you can see some of that blue water in the distance, baby. Even though it's stormy, it's still one of the most beautiful places on earth. All right, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to use some some tail rudder here. I think a little more speed. Oh, this is this is this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Here we go. Come on, come on. Fail bolter. I actually thought that wasn't bad. All right, we're going to try it again. I, we might have landed a little bit early, but it, I, I don't know if you guys saw right at the very end. Oh, I love how, dude, this is the details here. We need to do some more flying and in inclement weather. This is amazing. That is really, really cool. But, um, all right, I'm, I'm going to retract this thing all the way and then put it back out. It said that we were supposed to, to put our tail hook out. It, it gave us that message, but right at the very end, right after we landed, it was we. I don't know if I accidentally retracted it or what. All right, we're gonna have to lose some airspeed here. Let's do some maneuvers, be able to lose some airspeed. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I am not. That is how much the wind is affecting our plane here, dude. Right into the water. Imagine you're on your honeymoon. You're in your little overwater bungalow doing your thing. You know, some chocolate-covered strawberries. See, just living that lush life. Probably half naked or fully nude because you're... I mean, you're... It's private out there. Nobody else is going to see you. And you just see an F-18 come splashing into the water next to you. That, that'd be an experience. I, I definitely know nothing about being naked in Bora Bora, though. You got, I mean, you guys totally didn't even see it in the vlogs. You know what I mean? Um, I guess technically... Uh, the one, the funny moment we included in the vlogs wasn't Bora Bora. That was Morea. That's a few hundred miles to our south, I believe, southeast from here. But anyway, back to the point. I felt like that first landing was pretty good. Let me, let me make sure. All right, we are fully extended and good to go. You guys want to know what happens when you hit the like button on my videos? I start like this and then bam, that's the like button. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. I'm going to cheat this one. A little bit more to the right here. Let me zoom out a bit so I can see. I think we want to want to focus more of the island first, and there we have it. See, now we've got a much better approach angle. We're losing a bit too much speed, I think. A bit too much altitude. Get that speed up. We probably could have turned a little bit sharper there, but hey, this is still way better than what it was. I feel like it wants us to come in awfully low here, huh? There we go. Go! 
granted, we hit the deck way too early there. But again, you guys see at the last minute, it pops up that our thing isn't out. Let's try one outside the plane here. Dude, this, this is seriously insane. So when I don't touch anything, look at how cockeyed the plane is because the wind is just pushing us like crazy. So we, I mean, we need to fight this. I can turn our, our tail rudders, elevators, aileron, I think, I think rudders. I think these are the, these are the rudders. These are the ailerons. These are the elevators. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure. Your boy's been doing his research. But yeah, I, if I, if I go full tail rudder, it keeps us relatively straight. We're still a little bit off center. That might be part of what we need. Maybe we're coming in a little bit sideways. I don't know. So we've, I mean, this, it's up. It's retracted now it's back out and see that the the warning hasn't been coming up for us until the very end i'm wondering if there's something wrong here gonna need a little bit more speed it's crazy it wants us this low on approach that's kind of crazy to be honest now we're a little bit too low i'm gonna give us a bit more speed we're good so if i if i keep our rudders all the way left this is a good approach right here this is a great approach a little little too far to the right we're good here we go. Might be a little low. Come on. Oh! I mean, we bolted and we would have been fine. Did we? Did we just come in a little bit? I mean, we were early and a little bit off center. Let's try to get a really smooth one. I'm even gonna cheat a little bit right here, and we're we're just gonna get the perfect run up, dude. But honestly, this this is what impresses me. I, it, just thinking about all the different forces at work. Think about the first Maverick Top Gun DLC that we did. Like, it it, it, it was pretty easy. Let's be honest. Getting a high grade is tough, and landing exactly on the spot they want you to is tough. But getting on the ship is fairly easy, and it's like, you know, a straight run-up. They've already got you lined up. There's good weather, calm oceans, that sort of thing. Here, think about all the, the factors that pilots are, are taking into effect and they can land perfectly every single time. Your boy would have killed himself in half the flight deck four times already. But I mean, like they're, they're dealing with wind, they're dealing with waves, they're dealing with the ship listing forward and back and side to side and things like that. Like, and they're, they're just consistently putting in work, dude. Here we go. See this, this is a perfect approach. It wants us a little bit lower. A little bit lower is fine. See, I feel, I feel like it wants us too low. I feel like there's something a little funky going on here. Good speed, almost a little bit slow. Early. And it keeps... It keeps dropping the rope. I honestly feel like I line it up better from inside. So we're going to take an inside approach, but then I'm thinking... See, uh, there's no way it wants us th this much lower than this, right? How low do you want me out here? We are so far... Maybe it's to combat the wind... This seems awfully low. I don't know, something seems a little bit funky here. I realize we landed early on that last one and we, um, our hook's out, right? Hook is out. We kind of dragged the hook on the ground a little bit, but like it should be clamping onto these. I've had worse landings on carriers where we've, we've still made the landing. You know what I mean? Here we go, coming in nice and straight. Could line us up a little bit better. Speed is good. I'm even coming in with a little bit lower speed too because it's it's not like we're blowing through it and it's just not grabbing on. We're coming in slower than we need to or slower than it's it's telling us to. Here we go. Need a little bit more speed. Now drop it off. Here we go. Right on the... on the money. I don't really know what to say about that. I'm gonna afterburner my way over here. Cut it off. Let's just try to speed this up. I'm gonna put our thing back out again. We gotta bleed some speed here. I don't know, man. I Something seems a little bit fishy. I, I don't know why it keeps dropping. Is our, is our tail hook broken? Because I definitely feel like these should have been winners. That that last one was just about perfect. Dude, look at how beautiful this game is, though. You can see the storm clouds off in the distance. You can also see the sun shining through. Maybe are we, are we not supposed to... 
have our our rudder fully deployed like we are maybe maybe at the last minute i need to drop that we're fine a little bit of speed a little bit of speed we're good we're good we're good we're good the boy's getting a lot more confident here all right see there's no way it wants us to drop the rudder we almost had it there i it's either something where the wind is like messing with it and we're not coming in at the right angle or it's just not grabbing and there's there's a glitch. It's it's one of the two. I, I'm not going to pretend like I'm perfect, but I feel like some of these should have hooked. Wow, look at these guys. Nice overwater bungalows over here. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. All right, anyway. Got to slow this thing down. We're good. Oop. We may not be good. We may not be good. Can we gain control? Dude, the wind is, oh, oh, oh. Doing a Cobra move there. The wind is kind of crazy here. That was actually pretty sick that we just saved that right there. <laughs> All right, come on, Maverick. Let's go, Goose. Do it for Rooster. Just say a bunch of names. Do it for Bob. Do it for Nerdy Bob in the back, baby. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Coming in a little low, but that's fine. As long as we put it on the the lines, we're going to be fine. Here we go. Nice and flat. Dude, there's no way. I, I think this is broken. Let's try San Fran here. Let's just see what happens. So it's going to take us to San Fran. Carry is right in front of you across the Golden Gate Bridge. You're flying a little low, so watch out for the bridge. Otherwise, conditions are ideal. I wonder if we're going to be able to do a pass under the bridge. Oh, it's it's pretty far out there. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, there's there's something going on. I, obviously, you guys saw the good one. Like there were there were a lot more where that came from, and it it's just not. It's not connecting. It, I don't know. Something seems off. Look at this, San Francisco Bay. Oh, what a beast! This is gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to this one. Here we go. All right. Ooh, we got container ships and stuff too, dude. There's a lot of really interesting DLC. Our hook's out, right? Hook is out. All right. Hopefully the hook is actually hooky today. Power. Power. Hopefully the hook is not playing hooky. Not skip at his job or school or anything like that. I'm going to go underneath the bridge, baby. Power. Power. See how that works. Beautiful. Power. That's pretty cool. All right. So now, see, it, it said for a minute there to lower our tail hook. I think we're good. I think we're okay. We need to get over to the right here. I think going under the bridge definitely messed up our approach, but we're going to see if we can if we can make it work all the same. We're going to have to come in with a sharp left turn. Dude, if we hit this and we couldn't hit Bora Bora. Come on, baby. Right on the money and it grabbed it no problem. Okay, I I think Bora Bora was broken. I think it was broken. We got to see there. Obviously, a lot of it's going to be off. We, let me let me retry this one. Let's not go under the bridge. We're going to go over so we can keep our speed and everything correct and appropriate. But yeah, I, I feel like Bora Bora was not good. What a beautiful sight, man. This is incredible. Bay Area just flying over the Golden Gate Bridge, dude. This is sick. All right, let's 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 focus here. Let's get our speed under control. It's, yeah, yeah, it says we're coming in low. We were definitely way too low before. We're also coming in a little hot. We want to go a little bit more right. Here we go. We're going to be fine. More speed, more altitude. Uh, now that I know the, the path it wants us to take, we honestly probably need to, to redo this one more time. But at least we can make this one smooth. Let's see how this works. I love that we're actually having to come in at an angle. Like we were talking about earlier, that the first Top Gun challenge is pretty easy. If we're being realistic, we need a little bit more speed here. Glide path looks good. But having to come in and, and you know, make some turns and make some adjustments and things is hard. Obviously, this is a lot better than what we had our first time around. Going underneath the bridge. I mean, it's still a little high, but I feel like we're doing all right. There it is. Grabbed it, no problem. 
I don't know what's wrong with your, your wires on the Bora Bora ship, but it's messed up, that's for sure. Gotta see. Okay. Hit the second wire. Speed and glide slope. To be honest, I feel like the game starts you off a little bit too low. I'm gonna use some afterburners. Let's get up top. I think, you know, if we start over yonder, we don't want too much speed. Slow it down a little bit. Yeah, if we start over yonder and kind of come around and get on the glide slope early, that's gonna be good news. A little bit more. Look at that. Perfect glide slope going right over the bridge. Oh, you love to see it. Little, little, little fast though. Okay, let's, let's slow this down. See, I'm, I'm trying to take in the views and enjoy it. Look at San Francisco off to the right. That is just incredible. Speed's good. Slope is good. Speed's a little slow. Pick up speed a little bit. We're good. Come on, baby. Little, little hot now. I mean, it's just, this, this is still a fairly challenging one. The landing part is not challenging, but just finding, you know, making sure you stay over the bridge and everything is tough-ish. Gonna try to land on that second or third hook. Tried a little bit too hard on the hooks. All right, let, let me, give me, give me one more. We can get this. I, I want to get a B or better. I think we can get an A. I, this one's doable. This will just knock it old, dude. Look at that. That is insane. All right. I feel like this one has a very finicky speed it wants us at. Look, you see how, how quickly it's going from red to green? Oh, you're too fast. You're too slow. You're too fast. You're too slow. We're on the ball. Now you're too fast. Now we got to slow it down. A little high, but that's fine. I'm trying to hit that second or third line. A little bit of speed. I'm trying to hit that second or third line. It's how to dunk it. Just dunk it. Just dunk it. Whatever. Got him. That's got to be a bit. I mean, we just blew out the whole front, you know, suspension and everything. We'll take a B. All right, bam, there it is. I got to give Bora Bora one more, one more try. It's going to bother me. Like, I, I, I feel challenged by it, but I also, I genuinely think it might be a little bit busted. We're going to stay outside of the cockpit here to make sure we can see everything that's going on. All right, our thing is in. It's in. You see it? Now it's out. It is fully extended. There is no question about it. Now, the, the thing, like, you can, oh, oh, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. You can kind of tell when, because if I keep it in, Notice how it'll it'll pop up. Co-pilot's telling us lower your tail hook. All right, tail hook is down. So we, there's no question that it's down. It's just not grabbing. We need it to be a little bit more grabby. So usually that's a bad thing, but in this case, just grab grab anything you see, dude. Coming around here, coming in a little bit hot. I've got our engines down at zero percent, so we should lose just enough. See, we're, I mean, even when we're coming in at a bad speed, bad angle, whatever. I, I, I'm feeling really in control here. I'm feeling like I've, I've, you know, got it down. Coming in a little hot and a little hot. I, I feel like we aren't really that high. <sighs> Needs a little speed. Come on, baby. Slower should be better. I'm going to let go of the rudders at the end here, too. See, like, whoo! That's into the... the uh, fleet the flock i don't know what to call a group of planes I, th this is broken we're coming in way under the suggested airspeed which isn't good but like obviously that means that it's not gonna rip it out Let, let's come in normal then I'll, I'll try coming in a normal speed it definitely wants us way too low there's no way this isn't at least close to the angle you want to be at and it wants us significantly lower so i'm just gonna keep keep dropping i'm gonna do exactly as it wants I'm going to come in at the speed that it wants. I'm going to come in at the, the, the ball, the, the, you know, height that it wants. Here we go. A little bit slow. So we're going to give it a little bit more speed. We want to get it in that orange circle. We got the orange circle. We're a little high. Our thing is out. Here we go. Speed's a little slow, but not terrible. Ooh, a little high here. Switching outside kind of messed me up a little bit. Forgot about the gauges over on the left, but we're honestly still looking pretty good. Here we go. This is it. Right on the money. Right on them. And it breaks. It's broken. 100%. Bolter, bolter, bolter. 
I think we could have saved that one. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in our next one. If you guys want to see some more from this mod, from this DLC, then let me know. We've got three more, and they're going to get even more challenging. Gibraltar, I believe that's a tough approach because you're going around the big rock. Florida Keys, I think we have an engine out scenario. And then I think Sydney is engine out and bad weather. I don't know if the wind's blowing the... the you know cord off of our hook or what's happening in bora bora but they've they've got to get it together because i your boy can't do any better than what he's he's done so drop a like if you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see more let me know a lot more flight sim coming your way peace out